Okay guys, we are leaving the shop today because I want to test out new software and I don't have a vehicle to test it on. So the fall release of the Snap-on scanner software, uh, which will be version 19.4, is supposed to work on the Fiat Chrysler vehicles. So FCA vehicles, the Jeep Renegade, gates, um, everything that has a secure gateway module. I don't have one in my lot. I don't have something new enough. So I went through the process, process, got my scanner set up. Sorry, you guys are getting blinded. Got my scanner set up and now I am going to go over to the Chrysler dealership. Um, I already called them. They said, yeah, we have a couple in the detail shop. Uh, we'll uh, hand you the keys. You can go do what you want to do. So we are on our way to the Chrysler dealership right now to connect the scan tool up. Hopefully I got everything set up correctly at the shop. Um, you do have to sign up. There are instructions on the scan tool and I already had the Altus drive set up so that's not a big deal. It does cost $50 per year. That's not bad for additional connectivity considering the alternative is to you know, have a approved device and use the Witek software that would cost you $50, $50 for three days, $55 for three days. Plus, I believe any vehicle with the secure gateway module, you have to pay an additional subscription to Tech Authority. And that's another $35 or something. So $50 a year is a lot better. I don't know how much stuff I can connect to. So as soon as I get over there, we'll go into their back lot, find the detail shop, and get connected to a vehicle. Okay, I was looking for a Renegade, um, the detail shop doesn't have any um, the only one they have is a trade-in that the detail shop just got done with it's on the front line we're going to try this grand cherokee first if it doesn't have the secure gateway module then we'll run out front um, to their front line be very careful not to get it dirty for them and connect to that vehicle but we'll try it with the grand cherokee it may have the same features and i have a feeling that i'm going to run a wireless hotspot from my phone connect the zeus to that um, all you mobile guys are going to be used to that but you are gonna have to have a, uh, typically have a internet connection to scan vehicles with a secure gateway module. Okay, now that I have my, sorry, the light's really bad. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do, but Snap-on scanner is connected to my phone. I'm gonna plug the Zeus dongle into the vehicle. We'll turn the key on, see if it identifies. Um, I know that in the previous releases, I believe 17 and 18 Chryslers were missing completely. Um, I think you could go in global, but there was very limited on what you had access to. Okay, so I do have the key on. Let me shut the door so we don't go crazy with a dinging. Turn off all the accessories so we don't kill the battery. And I heard a couple beeps from the um, snap on interface, turn the radio off. Hopefully, well, I might need the radio on. I don't know where the secure gateway module resides. We'll turn, turn that all the way down. Okay, we are connected to the wireless dongle. I'm gonna hit scanner. Do you want to load a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee? Okay. Okay, yep. Display fitted system list. Okay, requesting authorization. So this is all new. You have to have the internet, so it is unlocked. It went through the secure gateway module. And now I can do a full system scan. Way to go, that is awesome. I believe the only other tool that had access to this in the past was Autel. They went through a backdoor channel. You had to pull the radio out, connect the wires back there. Some people had success with it. A lot of people didn't. I never tried it. I didn't want to screw anything up. All I have to say is way to go snap on. Um, a lot of people were upset because they didn't have this in the vehicle list. It took a while for them to uh, partner up with FCA, get everything taken care of. But I do know that I use the Snap-on all the time. These vehicles come in for oil changes at our shop. It'd be much easier if I can connect to it, do a full system scan, 
while it's on the rack. So I'm not neglecting the needs of my customers. If, the, if there's a code in there somewhere that's covered under warranty or recall, I wanna get that taken care of for my customers. Okay, this one surprisingly only had one code. It's a Jeep with 29,000 miles. Um, it's on the trade-in line. So it hasn't even been detailed. I assumed that this vehicle was going to uh, <laughs> at least have something in there. But then again, we're not working on a Volkswagen. There's not gonna be 20,000 codes. Okay, while we're connected, before I get too super sweaty in here, let's go in and let's just verify that we can see information from these modules. I know we did the code scan, but are we gonna have information that we can use to diagnose this? Um, so I'm just gonna go in, look at some engine data, scroll through, see what we get. Hopefully everything is all good to go. Yes, it is. So we have, we have data. Um, let me find something like the APPS. Make sure that that value changes. And there's a lot of PIDs open right now. So the response rate is a little slow. Seems to be working. Let's see what else we have in here. Let's just go into some of the other modules. Let's check the body module. Um, some of the most common things that we're gonna be doing on Chrysler vehicles is accessing the body module and the engine module. The uh, body control module, just because if there's anything electrical, uh, sometimes even lighting that goes through that, we may have to reset it if we change bulbs. Let's go to data. Make sure we have data from that. And then let's go ahead and look and see if we have the uh, you know, functional resets. We'll check the oil change reset procedures. This vehicle is fairly new still. I'm not gonna do a lot of repair. Most of the stuff's gonna be under warranty. So ADAS, they do have stuff for the front radar, body control, brakes, lift gate actuator, headlamps, suspension height. Okay, that's cool. Oil specs and resets. It's a Grand Cherokee, I believe. Okay, so we have the oil capacities, reset procedure, that's their functional reset. It's all there. So now that this is available, I mean, that's a, a huge thing, a, a huge reason on why you would upgrade to, to 19.4 software is just so that your shop has the capabilities of scanning these vehicles. You don't have to send them to the dealership. If, it, if they leave the gas cap off, you can scan it, see that EVAP code, run your test, throw the gas cap back on there, clear the code, make a few bucks without having to refer work out. Um, any, any work we have to send back to the dealership is money out of our pocket. Now, I am a big fan of saving my customers money. Um, I just, you know, if, if it's a, something covered on a recall, then we can send it um, to the dealership for free repair but I still wanna be able to get my diagnostic charge. And that's where uh, now we can, since we have access to the FCA vehicles. If you guys have any questions or comments, put those down below. I'll try to answer those as quick as I can. Um, I know I only tested one vehicle, but I'm sure that you know any FCA vehicle up to 2018 is now gonna be accessible through the Snap-on scanner. Anything newer than that, we're gonna to have to wait until the next releases before that stuff becomes available. But that's how it's always been. You know, The, the software in our scan tools is normally a year or so behind. Um, I suppose the 2020 vehicles are out on the lot right now. So we're about two years behind, but that's normal. According to 19.2, we were like four years behind because Snap-on was still integrating with FCA. There's there's a lot of reason to, to want this. I don't wanna be excluded from vehicles. So now my shop is set. I do need to update a few more tools and we will be ready to go for the other guys in the shop. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, I also do car repair videos. Um, we're doing diagnostic videos, live streams. Subscribe, click the bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.